Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update July 20th, 2019 edition. In this edition, Wayne Liu and Daisy Die are an item. Return the World to You premieres, and I do a recap of Go Go Squid's first two episodes. But first, Simon Yam was stabbed while on stage at a promo event earlier today. Just a warning, the following is footage of the attack, and while there is no blood or gory, some might find it distressing, so if you don't want to watch, skip about 20 seconds. Okay, the 64-year-old actor was in Zhongshan, Guangdong, and speaking at the opening ceremony of Easy Home, a building materials store, when a man in a black vest walked unsuspectingly up the stage, pulled a knife out of his pocket, and stabbed Simon in the stomach and slashed him on his right hand. Security guards rushed to intervene, and according to police, the attacker was detained at the scene. Simon was then taken to the hospital for treatment, but his injuries were not life-threatening. Citing an earlier police statement, the attacker had not yet been identified, but Simon appeared to have been a victim of mistaken identity. Mistaken identity? Who do you mistake for Simon Yam? I mean, he was a guest at an opening ceremony. The host probably announced his name like 10 times. Anyways, later the police identified the assailant as a 53-year-old local resident surnamed Chen, and he'd previously been diagnosed with schizophrenia. Now that makes a little bit more sense, as when I first watched the video, the first thing that came to my mind was either this guy has a huge problem with Simon Yam, or he was mentally ill. Simon Yam is another one of those solid, solid actors out of Hong Kong whom I love. He's been in classic cops and gangster movies like Election, PTU, and Exile, just to name a few. And I'm really glad to hear that he's back in Hong Kong and doing well. Here's a picture of him in the hospital. It looks like he's explaining what happened to the doctors, or just telling a funny story. Whatever he's saying, he's saying it with a smile, and that's great to see. This incident does raise the question of how something like this could have happened, and how to avoid it in the future. Beefing up security is an option. It would cost more, but if you're talking about people's safety, then it's money well spent. The other question is, what if this had happened somewhere where people had easier access to guns? Scary thought. I think this story would have taken a much different tone. Anyways, I wish Simon Yam a speedy recovery, and we move on to something much happier. Love is in the air, people. Wayne Liu and Daisy Dai are officially an item. Yesterday, their reps at Jaywalk Studio confirmed this by saying, the two are indeed in a serious relationship. Thank you for everyone's concern. Wayne and Daisy have been in many productions together, like In Youth and The Flame's Daughter, but most fans probably first saw them in 10 Miles of Peach Blossoms. They will also appear together in Yang Mi and Vin Zhang's upcoming drama, Storm Eye. Congratulations to them. It's always nice to hear people getting together. In the world of film, actors end up spending a lot of time together on set, and when you keep rubbing kindling together, you get sparks. Especially these two actors who are from the same agency and who constantly work on the same projects, as couples with many scenes together. Some people work together often and get sick of each other, others grow fond of each other, and I'm glad that they are from the latter group. My prediction is that moving forward, these two will get to play main leads, and maybe even the main couple in upcoming dramas. Having played so many second or supporting couples in dramas, I think their moment will come sooner rather than later. Remember, you heard it here first. Return the World to You is a modern drama starring Yang Shuo and Guli Naja, and it premiered last night on YouTube. It tells the story of the CEO of a fashion company who finds out that her dead boyfriend isn't really dead after all. He's actually alive with a new face from reconstructive surgery, and is out to find out who tried to murder him. I checked out the first episode and thought it was so-so. Here's what I liked about it. Yang Shuo. I like his raspy voice and the way he delivers his lines. Jeremy Xu, or Jeremy Jones, or Jones Xu. The guy has several English names. Anyways, you guys know who I'm talking about. He's actually got quite a deep voice, and it gives me a different and better impression of him than when I watch him in his previous dramas. Here's what I didn't like about it. Naja is overdubbed. She's the only one out of the main cast to be overdubbed, and I don't know why. Maybe production saw the final product and wasn't happy with her acting, and thought they would plaster over it by overdubbing her? Whatever it was, it just doesn't match. Much of the drama takes place in France, and while there are many beautiful people and buildings, the chemistry between the Chinese and French actors is non-existent. I don't know about you guys, but every time I watch these dramas where Chinese actors have to act with their Western counterparts, I always cringe. It is always terrible, and the dubbing is downright awful. They get these voice actors to overdub with these foreign accents, and it just sounds ridiculous. Anyways, I digress. If you want to check out this drama, it is on YouTube. Last I checked, there was only one episode, but there might be more now. So I finished the first two episodes of Go Go Squid, and I'm going to do something new here, which is a recap and review. I've never done recaps simply because I don't like giving away spoilers. And I don't like giving away spoilers simply because I don't like getting them. 
but seeing as the first two episodes have come out for quite a while now, it should be okay. So there will be spoilers from here on end. Nothing too specific, just general plot points summed up in a few sentences. But in any case, you have been warned. Okay, so in the first episode, we meet Han Shangyan, played by Li Xian. He walks into an internet cafe and meets Tong Nian, played by Yang Zi, and it's love at first sight. For her anyways, not so much for him. Hilarity ensues as she tries to get to know him, even telling him that he won some lucky draw and can now surf the net for free. Finally, she does get him to add her on WeChat, but all of her consequent messages get ignored by him. In episode 2, we learn more about Hang Shang Yen's gaming background. He used to be part of Team Solo, but after the team disbanded, he formed Team KNK. Tong Yen is not in a great mood because her messages are ignored by Hang Shang Yen. Her mood changes when her cousin, Dou Nan, finds the account that Hang Shang Yen used at the internet cafe. Tong Nian gets Grunt, the account holder, to accept her as an opponent. So overall, I'm really enjoying this drama. I think the actors are terrific, and the fact that they're not overdubbed makes it that much more enjoyable. And the chemistry between the actors are clear to see, and not just between the two main leads. I think Tong Nian and her cousin are hilarious, and I think Hang Shang Yen and Solo has some great moments together as well. I haven't read the novel, but from what I have seen in many comment sections, novel readers seem to approve of the drama as well. Many seem to like the fact that Yang Zi hasn't played Tong Nian to be too sweet and fluffy. Anyways, if you want to check out the drama, it is on YouTube. No English subs at the moment yet though. And that's it for today guys. Give me your questions and thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe and like, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Cheers!